you are not a religious person. As a kid, you were exposed to religion and like the drama of cathedrals and stained glass windows and organs and incense and candles and those first sips of wine during communion to wash down the stale little Jesus biscuits. You like the way priests dress. It's such a fit. Something about that flash of white in the collar, ugh, it looks so great. So great, in fact, that you once matched back with a dude on field because in one picture he was wearing a priest costume. You asked him if he would wear it on your first date, but he never responded. Coward. You also like the moodiness and the intensity of certain religions, but you don't particularly like the rules or the ways people judge each other. So you stay in your lane when it comes to religion and keep your mouth shut. You're smart enough to admit that you have no idea what is going on or why we're here or what will happen when we're not here or if this is a computer simulation or an experiment or a dream within a dream that a star is having in the galaxy. You have no idea. But you do know that thoughts and prayers do not stop bombs from dropping on innocent people just trying to live their lives and they do not cure cancer and they do not prevent mass shootings in America. They are nice things to say to people, but those thoughts and prayers often serve the purpose of easing the person that is praying and not so much the suffering of the people they are praying for. But what do you know? You did try to take up prayer again recently when all of your calls to senators and all of your Instagram story posts and all of those protests you went to didn't stop the murdering of Palestinians. Unfortunately, you're starting to feel like a very angry Karen wanting to speak to God's manager because you have some rather unkind words about how unfair things are. You're sticking to your God monologues, though. You're getting a lot of stuff out. There is also a part of you that is almost envious of people that have faith when their entire worlds are crumbling. You noticed how strong Palestinians were being and how their faith was getting them through a living hellscape. It still blows your mind. You're sitting in your cozy apartment in Brooklyn cursing a god that would allow this to happen while they are praising one that is helping them get through it. You wondered if there was something to this, so you started reading the Quran again. It was mostly out of curiosity, but like a dumb dude looking at a very long text from a woman they wronged, you kind of put it down a few months later and thought, I ain't gonna read all of that, and decided to try to learn Arabic instead. You felt like that would make you a much more useful person going forward so you could at least translate things. You had been watching so many kids speak perfect English so we could hear them tell us what's happening over there. So we could do something, anything. The least you can do is try to learn Arabic. Maybe you'll find God along the way. And then you can ask them, what the fuck?